Hi guys, I, I'm just on the RSOE of the explosion in the USA on Thursday, the 18th of April, 2013. And, and um, I'm looking at this, it's extreme. And it's in Texas, we all know what's going on. Down here it says, effect is unknown. Um, there's so far 70 dead, 110 injured, 3,500 people have been evacuated, and another 100 affected persons. Um, <laughs> this is a fertilizer plant that blew up like a bomb, and with everything that has happened lately, um, the Boston Marathon, Patriot Marathon, which was also some kind of Israel celebration day, too. I, I want that known. And, and we've seen before how they dress up as the Twin Towers and stuff on some of their holidays. So I'm, I'm just throwing this in here not to point fingers. Um, you know, so that had me thinking on the Boston Marathon. And then this explosion... Um, this is a pretty damn big explosion for, we're in, what, 2013, and we can't even handle fertilizer plants at this point. Um, it seems as if everything is twisted and backwards to me. At this point, I would have thought, I mean, it, we, I have no explanations for the way I feel right now, except there's too many things happening all at once. And it's, it's a distraction, um, what happened in the Senate today, um, of course, for the gun owners and, and, and people who believe in the Second Amendment, which I believe in all the amendments, especially I believe in uh, the Constitution pre-1871, I believe it was, before we became a corporation and had a CEO as a president, but... Um, I, the thing that bothers me is that this was essentially an IED or a bomb. I mean, it, it, there's no safety inspections of something. Uh, a fertilizer plant, we know that fertilizer fertilizers are used in bombs. I mean, they were saying the other one was a pressure cooker, which that's just horseshit in, in uh, Boston, Mass., and then, of course, they had to blame the um, uh, the beans. The, uh, shoot, I'm I'm forgetting the name of them. Um, the that makes ricin um, for for this, and now ricin's being sent everywhere. Um, uh, it's everything's just getting insane. So I, I just had to make this, but really, this right here. The Boston Marathon, that's just a given because of the dates and stuff. But this is a date that um, the 19th there will be the Waco when, you know, America did a terrorist attack on their citizens. Um, whether I like it or not, their religion, because most religions to me are cults. And they said the Branch Davidians were a cult. Well, I, you know, I can look at a lot of religions and say they're a cult. If, if, you know, they're controlling people, our government's pretty much a cult because they control us. I actually think that this was a false flag done by the government here because of all the distractions going on. If they can keep us swarming here and there and everywhere, then we won't know what to go, you know, jump on to. I'm, I'm not falling for everything, but there's some things that just really stick with me. And this one is bothering me, this one in Waco, Texas. Um, you know, and if they're going to do this this blatantly, we better keep our eyes on what our government's doing because they're going to do a lot more. And they're going to start pointing at a lot of people saying they did it or this person did it. And I think it's time that we started talking to the people you know, our representatives pretty seriously and say, well, you know, we see through what you're doing. And most of us are. I've noticed that most of the videos being put out 
are seeing through this. And like I said, I'm going to start looking up and see if Israel dressed up and danced around like they did wearing those 9-11 suits on that whatever day they celebrated last month. That was the most disgusting thing I ever saw. The two children dressed up as the Twin Towers with airplanes, um, you know, flying through them. I mean, that that just disgusts me. And if, if that's not a heads up to some people, people better start connecting the dots. Um, anyway, if I seem a little angry, I don't mean to be. Um, I, I'm just really concerned and and my prayers even though I'm not of a religion that most people are I am a Native American I do pray and I will be praying to the Creator for all those who are on their next journey and for all the injured people and I'm really gonna pray for our government to to find some sanity because if this is just revenge and petty uh, we'll show the people stuff, then all of them need to be, I, they all need to go. I mean, we need to get rid of all these senators and, and, and Congress people and presidents and the people that surround these CEO presidents. None of these people were elected. They've all been selected. It's a corporation. We, and they are, they're acting like spoiled children. Well, I'm an adult. And we need adults, and, and I really don't even need a leader. So we need to go back to the pre, I think it's 1871 Constitution, where we, we're responsible for ourselves, because I, I do believe the government has a heavy hand in some of this stuff. So I'm going to get off here now. I just had to do this. And everybody, I hope you have a good night. Peace and love and no fear. And I'm not trying to offend anybody. Um... Just, um, we need to hang together and pull together more than ever. And I do know that when I toured Oregon, there's some liberal women that are arming themselves. And it's not against men, it was against the government. So the conservatives and the liberals need to drop the labels, start shaking hands. Let's get our country back to where we're taking care of one another. And I could give a crap about those people in Washington, D.C. who exploit us, who use us. They're fascist, and all they want is us to be their slaves, and I'm tired of it. Let's reach across the aisle and become friends and take care of humanity for a change. Um, peace and love to everybody, and no fear.